Okay, this is my first time posting on Reddit, but please bear with me. In fourth grade, I had a best friend named Jenny, not her real name, and every day after school we would hang out. It was awesome because Jenny was actually neighbors with my grandmother, and every day I would go to my grandmother's house after school. We had many after school adventures and would either hang out at her house or in front in my grandma's yard. My grandmother and Jenny both lived at the end of the street. It was a dead end. It was great because all the neighbors knew each other and it was often you would see children casually playing in the street as my cousins also lived on this street, but not important. This neighborhood was and still is very nice, quiet, safe, and comfortable. One day after school, I was alone at my grandmother's house when I saw an unfamiliar car pull up to one of my grandma's neighbor's house. It immediately took me off guard as I hadn't seen this vehicle before. I went out into my grandmother's front yard when I saw two men get out and approach the neighbor's home. I was very confused and concerned, as I have never seen these men before, and because a home that they were approaching has been abandoned for a while, although still an elder man's home. Moments later, Jenny comes over to my grandmother's house. She was going to ask me if I wanted to play, as we did every day. Jenny noticed the concerned looks on my face in the direction of the home and asked me, What's going on? I told her about the two men that had gotten out of the unfamiliar car and how they went up to the presumably abandoned home. Jenny then went on to explain to me that the man who lived there was currently in the hospital and was having health problems. As I said, the neighbors were all pretty close and aware of each other. Jenny and I then ran into my grandmother's house and grabbed some paper and pen and wrote the license plate of the strangers of the strange car. After we did so, we were becoming increasingly curious as we were as kids and became trying to see where the men exactly went. We got closer to the home and we believed they were ransacking and that's when one of the men spots us. We booked it and being the unknowing and immature kids we were, we giggled and laughed for some reason that I don't even understand. In front of my grandmother's house, there are two big, narrow, vertical, bush-like trees. Jenny and I, being curious and immature, hid behind these as we continued giggling. I'm honestly not sure why we didn't just go inside my grandmother's home, as the door was actually before the bushes. But we were curious, I guess. We peered our head out, trying to see where the men were. And that's when we saw that they have actually have gotten in their car. They were now both scanning almost every inch of the area as they were driving back up the street. Only looking back at this, I feel like at this moment, we were in danger. For some reason, we didn't feel like we were in danger and continued giggling. The men left after this and never returned. The men were obviously taken off guard. And I'm honestly still 100% sure that what they were doing or why they seemed like they were scanning the area. My only two guesses on why is either they were looking for us or looking to make sure other people didn't see this. I'm really not sure. They clearly didn't like the fact that two 10 year olds had noticed whatever it was they were doing. Jenny and I gave some surrounding neighbors a license plate we wrote down and alerted them about what happened. I don't think they took us serious. Those dudes who are up to no good in the neighborhood, let's not meet again, please. This happened a couple years ago, and while not the scariest situation, it was definitely creepy. I was on my way back to work and decided to stop by the mall first to pick up some things I needed. As I was walking to my destination, I heard a voice behind me say, Hello, Megan, how are you? I turned out expecting to see someone I knew, but was surprised to see a tall man I've never seen before smiling at me. He said, 
Hey, Megan, again. And I sputtered a meek, hi, and kept walking. I thought maybe he said ma'am, and I just misheard it. So I ignored it and keep walking to my destination. Once I get to the store, I notice he's still behind me, and he enters the store with me. My gut is telling me this is not normal, but I try once more to give him the benefit of the doubt. I'm looking through a rack of clothes. When I look up and I see him looking around the store as if he's looking for someone. I'm 5'1", so I do well to hide in stores with racks and clothes. So I just grabbed what I wanted and walked to the front to pay. I looked up again and he was standing right by me and staring. The cashier and I shared awkward glances and I paid and walked out with this man right on my tail. So I got fed up and turned to him and said, what the hell do you want? He then said, you, and just walked away. So I walked to my car the whole time looking over my shoulder to make sure he wasn't nearby. And once I was inside my car, I pull out my phone to call my dad and noticed I had a Facebook notification, which was a friend request from the stranger. I called my dad who said to check my Bluetooth airdrop to see if it's on and if it wasn't because I never used Bluetooth. I look out my car window and see this guy looking around the parking lot and looking in car windows. I tell my dad, he tells me to just go, so I did. I blocked this guy on Facebook and haven't seen or heard from this man again. I hope I never do.